What's going on YouTube? Taylor Prince back here with another video and this is gonna be a pretty quick one but I want to show you guys how I label loops that I send to bigger producers. So it seems like a pretty easy thing but there are a couple things that we miss and want to include when we're sending out loops to bigger producers or sending out loops to anyone in general and uh, a lot of these you can apply to when you're sending out beats to artists or sending out beats to engineers but let's get into it so first things first when you're making a loop you want to think of a name that fits the loop and the style of that loop so if you make like a whole lot of red type loop it's like a rage type of loop you're not going to name that like blueprint or something that's something you would say for like an old school sample that kind of reminds you of jay-z you just gotta realize that these names that you give loops kind of have some power and you got to also make them interesting you got to realize like when people sit down and they're reading a list of loops they see the same names over and over and over again choosing uh weirder words that are more memorable can kind of make uh you stick out which is something i've came across uh there's a guy named tyler and he had one about jungle beats that was just hilarious and uh, i saw people on twitter talking about it and to this day like it still sticks with me that that one loop he made had like a funny title and for some reason i still remember it and the loop was fire so that definitely helped but uh yeah labeling and coming up with names can not only help people name beats but i've had like where I name a loop and then I send it off to a producer, he makes a beat with it and that's what the beat gets named. And then an uh, artist raps on the song and that's the name for the song now. So it can go a long way. Uh, just don't overthink it, but put some thought into what names you're selecting as the names of your loop because it does have meaning down the line. Second thing is key and BPM. So when you're sending out loops, you wanna make it easiest for everybody. And by doing that, uh, you gotta include the key in BPM just so when people carry it into their doll, they already know what the BPM is, they can make that quick change. And you wanna include the key so people know what tune to put their 808s in or just make it easier for people to tune their 808s because it can be kind of annoying when you have a sample that's like really fire or something, but you have to go online. And a couple of those uh, online like key finders are not super accurate. I recommend using TuneBat if you're having problems finding them. But like I said, it's just so much easier if you just include it. It makes it way easier for everybody. So just go ahead and include that in the title. And then the last thing is either your Instagram at or your Twitter handle. Uh, I go with my Instagram at because I feel like people are just more active on Instagram. And uh, I like having people go to my Instagram uh, because they can see more of who I am. Whereas like if you go to my Twitter, you see like a bunch of my dumb takes and personal opinions that have not a whole lot to do with music. I should really kind of cut down and uh, be more efficient with my tweets on there and more on topic, more focused. Oh well, I kind of just use Twitter for fun. So I keep my Instagram more focused on music. So that's where I like to send people and that's why I include it in my title when I send out loop. But it's really useful when you have people's name in their loop title because uh, when you sit down and cook up with loops, like you're probably going through a bunch of loops and you're probably going through multiple people. So if I have like three people that send me loops, I like to have the name of each and the title of the loops so I can remember who sent me what. Because it does get confusing when you have like a hundred loops on your computer sent from five different people and you're trying to figure out who sent what. Uh, most of the time I can tell just because of, I know who I'm working with and I know their sound, but at the same time it's, uh, not 100% sure and it's way easier if they're just labeled up front it saves me a lot of time and uh, just confusion down the line and then another thing you can add which I actually don't typically add is uh, what kind of genre it is or like what kind of loop it is like I said earlier if you're making like a whole lot of red type loops you can name the loop like red and then put like rage in parentheses so people know what kind of loop it is this is like i said something i don't actually do but i've had people do it and uh, it does make going through packs a little bit easier if you're kind of rushed for time and you need to know like what style loops are before you just click and listen through all of them it does save you some time so that might be something that you guys want to include so uh, just to go over it again uh, the first thing is the title of the loop the second thing is the key the third thing is the BPM. And then last but not least, you wanna have your name or some way that people can contact you in the title. Because keep in mind when people are like using that uh, for beats, every time a producer pulls that into their DAW, people behind them are gonna see it, the producers are gonna see your name in their DAW. And then uh, if you get 
like a beat place or whatever and it's sent off to an engineer you got to remember the engineer is going to be sitting down and going through all those stems so they're going to see your name too uh like i had one song that i produced that the stems got sent off to bryn on the boards who's mixed up for like corday which is really cool to know that my beats and my loops have been in front of a producer or an engineer excuse me that is that established so yeah that's just some food for thought uh just keep your brand out there and sending loops with your name and the title is just going to help expand your brand and keeping the key in bpm is just going to uh, make it easier for everybody and the title is really just like your attention grabber so those are just some things to think about uh i hope you guys got some knowledge from this video and if you have any questions uh just hit me up so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys later deuces